מי שברך אבותינו אברהם יצחק ויעקב ויברך את חיי צבא ההגנה לישראל ואנשי כוחות הביטחון עומדים על משמר ארצנו We're making paintings to essay our graduates who are fighting in the Israeli army right now. You have letters to say? The reason that we're here all together is the fact that the school have 20 chayalim who participated in Suketan. It's an astronomical number. I can't even imagine that that would exist anywhere else. Hi, my name is Adina Israel. I'm part of class of 2012, and I'm proud to serve in the IDF. Ever since I was really little, my parents and community have encouraged me to be a strong and active Zionist. Both this and the SER community have encouraged me to leave all that I had behind and join the IDF. Now, I've decided to take my talents <laughs> to the Holy Land and join the I'm Alex Katch from New Rochelle, New York. I went to SAR from first grade to 12th grade. I graduated the high school in 2012. When I decided to go to the army, when I announced it in yeshiva, my Tvar Torah on the Parsha was all about what SAR has been teaching me. Making Kiddush Hashem and what it means. Rabbi Dreilach throughout all of elementary school would always say, Making Kiddush Hashem, Making Kiddush Hashem. Hello, I'm Davide Ronan, I'm from Teaneck, New Jersey. I was also at SAR from 1st grade till 12th grade, and I was in the Paratrooper Brigade. Now I'm in commander school. It's not about myself, it's not about me, me, me. It's about Israel, it's about Eretz Yisrael, Am Yisrael, and the United Yisrael and the people who live here. Hi, my name is Masya Kestenbaum. I'm from SAR's class of 2012 and now I'm serving in the Golani Brigade. I've always felt a type of connection to Israel from my family and also from in my community, but definitely from SAR. They always try to push, a, push this connection. That if something happens in Israel, it's not something that just happened in Israel. We're also saying to Hillim, we're also trying to raise money or trying to get a donation going. I can certainly remember when I was a much younger guy, spending my first days at SAR and watching little three, four-year-olds in white and blue. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And we see that it just becomes a part of their language and who they are. Let's think, why do we have Kemer Rachel? To ingrain those values from when kids were tiny. Uh, it just became part of their language. To be able to wave uh, Degel Yisrael, to be able to celebrate those Chagim, and, and uh, one thing uh, builds on, on, on the next. And My name is Max Kane. I graduated SAR High School in 2011. To be a soldier of Tzahal is a statement. As I grew up through my years at SAR, I realized that the Army was something I had to do for myself. So I decided to join the Army in uh, July, on July 1st, 2012. My name is Racheli Jonas. I graduated SAR Academy in 2008 and SAR High School in 2012. I served in Yalom, which is a combat engineering unit. Obviously, SAR started me on my journey to Israel. When you're in an open environment, you don't think about the Arba melt around you. You get a feeling that there's something beyond you. There's something bigger than you. Things that I thought were taboo to, to mention or to even think about, SAR is bringing it up, it's on the table. Just having an open mind and um, being able to speak about all these different things, for me, that's something that really impacted me. I'm Sam Fragan from Scars on the York. I'm currently in Nachal which is infantry. For me, making Aliyah wasn't a question of if, it was a question of when. I believe that SR integrates Zionism into every single aspect of social life. Whether it is saying every morning after davening, or whether it's having chagigas, dressing up in blue and white for Yom Ma'ut. One of the pillars of an SAR education is the um, connecting our students to Medinat Israel, to Eretz Israel. I was immediately drafted to Israel Army. We actually uh, try very, very hard to teach our kids through giving them and providing them with certain real experiences that become part of who they are. Hello, my name is Sarah Schloss. I am from Riverdale, New York. I graduated in 2008. I am a shooting instructor for Lotar. Something that's really, SAR really gave to me for my love of Israel and my understanding of Israel was all the Israeli teachers that we had in SAR. We're a school that still is committed to Ivrit Ivrit, to, to learning in Hebrew, to Hebrew immersion, to Hebrew becoming part of who we are and to our, for our graduating students to be comfortable in the real Hebrew language. The UN, 
For us, it means integrating Israeli education everywhere we can in the classroom. It can be as part of the Lemurday Kodesh program, it's part of the history program. When you take on all of those pieces, it ends up permeating the culture of the school in many different places. Hi, my name is David Arbit. I graduated SAR in the class of 2010. I served in Golani in the 12th Battalion. One of the things I remember best is that Tekes on Yom Hazikaron at SAR, I always remember being very touched by the stories and, and, and by the, act, the Tekes itself. I don't think I fully understood what the Tekes Yom Hazikaron was until I moved to Israel and I go to Har Herzl and Yom Hazikaron and the songs that they sing there are the same songs that we sing in SAR. The fact that I know those songs is so important, it's so full of Israeli culture and the fact that I learned that in sixth grade in SAR is so amazing to me. One of the highlights of the year is joining us on the steps for uh, Hallel on Yom HaTzmud and Yom Yerushalayim. Alumni come back to join us for that day, parents join us on that day. For us, it's a real source of pride that 80% of our graduates spend a year in Israel. One time when I saw Rabbi Hartzark, his face lit up and asked me how I was, how my service was going, how was it living in Israel. And the last thing he said to me was, Yishal Koch, we're so proud of you. That meant the world to me, that I have an entire school and faculty and community behind me. My name is Hannah Lieberman. I graduated at SAR in 2011. I'm here at the end of my Kul Sixteenim Officer School graduation. We went through the Operation Protective Edge, uh, guarded on the Gaza border. Finally, I'm finished and uh, I'm a first lieutenant. Hi, how are you, David? We really need in, in America and in SAR and everywhere around the world to have a renewed appreciation for what the young men and women of the state of Israel sacrifice and do to protect us all around the world. The past summer here was very difficult. We started to realize that there were so many of our graduates involved in the war. I guess there was a feeling both of trepidation and of really deep uh, pride. This past summer, I was part of Israel's defense against Aza in uh, Tsukitan. The walk-in was, I could say, the most exciting moment that I've had in my life. We went into Gaza on uh, Saturday night, July 19th. I was a Samal Machlaka, which means a platoon sergeant, which means I'm the number two in charge of a group of 21 people. Nobody in my platoon had ever seen any form of live combat, been in any war or anything like that. Everybody's obviously, you know, you have all different emotions. You're scared, you're excited, you're uh, motivated, you, you sort of feel everything. It's a mixture of emotions. After we went in, eight of the 21 soldiers in my platoon were injured some more seriously than others, including my commanding officer. That put me in a position where I then had to continue on fighting in the war, being in a position that I wasn't necessarily trained for, or wasn't necessarily ready for. On the one hand, I was frightened. There were rockets flying, sirens going off six or seven times a day, and my parents were far away. However, on the other hand, it was the first time that I actually felt like I was doing something. There was something happening in the state of Israel and I felt like I could do something about it. For the first time in my entire life I felt that what I've worked for and what I've waited for um, since I was six years old was to defend this country. That was the feeling that, you know, at that moment you were actually doing your dream, living the dream. I think that being a child is very, very but there are certain moments in your service where you're definitely struck by the fact that you are a lone soldier and what that really means. It sounds very simple, but it's something very difficult to come back after a week in the army that could be really, really tough and you could be in the shetach in the field with no shower, no nothing, and then you come home and you don't have that hug from your parents. When she would call me and she would say that she was fine, but I could hear in her voice that she was really feeling very 
Emotional from what was happening and stress and I couldn't comfort her, it, it was tough. And even in the technical terms, to change his clothes, 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 to change his clothes. In one of the first weeks after I drafted, it was Thanksgiving, and so I did a Skype phone call with my family back home. My commander came in and was like, you need to get off now. And I had to hang up on them in the middle of a Skype conversation, and it was just devastating. We kind of create our own community, because I have a lot of friends that are also here, so that, that definitely helps a lot. When I first got to the Army, I was in basic training for one month. The other girls, they were constantly crying how they just wanted the week to be over so they could go home to their families. People talk about how they go home and the first thing they do is give their parents a hug and kiss and they wait for their parents' food. And I don't have that, but it's the sacrifices you make for something you believe in. This past term, we actually got Mishloch Manot from SIR, which was truly amazing. It was the cool, the candy's really fun. We always love candy. But the best part is keep sending, keep sending, keep sending candy. But the best part is the letters that we get from students. That was a crazy moment for me because I remember writing yeah, exactly. Yeah, really, you never really think they're going to get Yeah, I thought that. If I can be honest, I thought they yeah. threw them out. But, but now I see they really get them. Yeah. It's funny when the Americans come up to me and say, like, I'm sure it's who now. And you're like, like, I'm from New York. I'm from New York. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay, but yeah. like, don't hurt yourself. Like, let's take a selfie. <laughs> When I joined the army, I was not only learning Hebrew, I was learning army Hebrew. Well, I don't get when they call me a gingy, like... <laughs> my Hebrew got much better, but my Hebrew is now in army Hebrew. Can I play the song? <laughs> I have a really American accent though. <laughs> People talk about the Am or the Medina, as in we're well, just one country, and that's something that's something that I discovered here. A feeling of being able to give to this this Am and to also enjoy being part of it. Everyone needs to do the most that they're able to do for Israel. That's for me the definition of being a Jew. I want to be part of building the nation. I want my kids to grow up there. I truly believe that um, through my army service. I gave a lot to this country and a lot to the Jews living in this country. I believe that by moving to Israel and joining the IDF, I'm contributing to Isaiah's prophecy that all Jews should return to Israel. See an SCR graduate in Madin. Nothing better than that. We are so, so proud of you. Um, we think of you all the time. Thank you, SAR, for staying consistent and showing me as much love today as you did as my first day in, in fourth grade. This is an evening where we can say, Todaraba. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for strengthening our connections in the United Israel. I will take, I will take, I will take you out to
חבר'ה, הגיע המכתבים. be able to serve with honor and with dignity, um, continue to make us proud and to be able to do your share and be able to bring peace to the United Israel and to Am Israel around the world. All I can to all of you, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much.